Hey guys, this is uh, another Blu-ray update, I guess part two for February if you want to call it that. Um, a couple things hold over from uh, December that I never got around to showing, and a couple things I bought since the last one. Um, so let's just get right into it. We've got one DVD, uh, The King's Speech. Um, this I uh, never got around to seeing, and it's always about time for two ninety nine. I should probably see it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I probably, like, I think it'll be a really good. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it, so I probably should have forked out the extra couple quid from the Blu-ray. But I just thought, well, two ninety nine. I'll see what it's like, and if I fucking think it's amazing, I'll get the Blu-ray and get rid of this or give this to my parents or something. That's King's Speech. Um, and then this one I got in December, Enchanted, on Blu-ray. I fucking love this film. It's so good. Uh, I have it on DVD, but I upgraded it because it's just so good. <laughs> I love it. Amy Adams is so perfect as a Disney princess. I think it's so good. If you haven't seen Enchanted and you like Disney films or animated films, you got to see this. It's so good. I heard stirrings that they wanted to do a second one but nothing's happened yet i would love that but yeah um enchanted what a dream of a film um it's just so much fun and so entertaining and everyone's so perfectly cast and it's it's just a really great nod to like nod slash um kind of making fun of uh disney princess movies yeah enchanted uh yeah Really good film. Another Disney upgrade, Aladdin. Uh, yeah, this was like 9.99 in December when HMV were doing all the kind of around Christmas, all the Blu-rays for like 9.99. Um, yeah, it's just got an audio commentary making of sing-along, deleted scenes, and deleted songs, uh, which is one of my DVD, I think. Uh, this is one of my favourite Disney's. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I've kind of, I feel like Disney now know that they don't treat their their discs and their movies as well, you know. Like when Beauty and the Beast and Snow White came out, they had these lush like, slip cases and three discs and then and now they just seem to whack them out. I mean, I love having them on Blu-ray. It's great that they're all coming out, but I just wish they would keep those nice additions coming. But yeah, Aladdin on Blu-ray, great movie. This one I got around Christmas. I'd never seen it before. After Christmas, um, yeah, I watched it and I thought it was—I thought it was okay. I didn't love it. Um, I thought Arthur was kind of annoying. Am I the only one? Yeah, it was—it was fine. I, I don't know. I, I thought it might be better than it was. I like kind of some of the ideas behind it and you know the tradition of Christmas, blah blah blah. Um, but yeah. I just, uh, I just wanted to like it more, but it was fine. Then we have Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene on Blu-ray. There's Elizabeth Olsen. I haven't seen this yet. Uh, still sealed. Um, yeah, I've heard it's really good. I kind of been interested more in what Elizabeth Olsen's doing because she's going to be appearing and um, playing Scar Scarlet Witch. Sorry, in um, Avengers Two next year. And so I kind of wanted to see more of her stuff before that. So I got this. I saw her in uh, Kill Your Darlings, which I liked. She was good in it. And she was probably the best thing in that god-awful remake of uh, Old Boy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know much about this. It's kind of a dark thriller, I think. And it's Elizabeth Olsen's feature debut, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, by all accounts... Um, it's very, very good, so I'll need to watch that. Uh, you know, I have this rule as far as Blu-rays go that films that try and don't just buy any old shite. Films that are supposed to be like good, or you know that you'd like and you want to rewatch. Or obviously, Disney and Pixar is a no-brainer. But like, just films that you've like classics and ones I've seen, blah blah blah. You know, just on DVD, I would just kind of buy anything before Blu-ray. So I'm trying not to do that anymore, but I guess there are exceptions to the rule. I got Total Recall, the remake on Blu-ray. Uh, I've seen a little bit of this and I thought it was okay and I've been wanting to watch it. So I picked up this 
for $7.99. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to see it. I, don't, I know it's not going to be terrific, but Kate Beckinsale. Uh, and it just, I don't know, it could be fun. I just, it was like on a whim and I, and I left the thing in here. Oh, that's weird. Um, hmm, I'm not going to be able to open that. I just noticed they've left the, the, usually they can't get out. Maybe I can get out. Alright, okay, well, that's Total Recall, anyways. Uh, the remake. Obviously, I love the original. Um, and they just need to remake Starship Troopers, and that's all, like, Paul Verhoeven's three side big, like, sci-fi films that need to be uh, remade. That's kind of weird that they've... I'm just still focusing on this. Um, uh, I need to investigate that further. Uh, the World's End. I missed this on its initial run in cinema, I don't know what I was doing, but luckily they screened it with a Q&A from Simon Pickin and right when this came out, the Blu-ray, so I saw it then in cinema. Um, I really liked it a lot, thought it was really good. I'd say it was maybe better than Hot Fuzz, as far as the Cornetto trilogy goes. Um, yeah, I really liked it. It was really good, I don't know what to say, just, you know, usual Edgar Wright goodness. I think some people... Well, like I said, they were a little disappointed, or it wasn't as funny as the other two. Which, um, yeah, it's kind of a little more darker, isn't it, really? Emotionally, and, um, Peg plays a bit more of an asshole in this one, but he's sort of a kind of likeable. Uh, and the fight sequences in this are amazing. Like, they're so well choreographed, and I prefer that kind of over the, the Tony Scott esque, um, Michael Bay stuff they did in, in the fight sequences or the shootouts in, um, I was going to say the Avengers then, Christ, got superheroes on the brain, uh, in, um, Hot Fuzz, that's what I'm looking for. The World's End, yeah, it was really good. Um, and of course, you know, masses of special features, the commentaries, looking forward to those. Um, yeah, really good film. And this one, my brother got me for my birthday. Or he phoned me up and was like, Ferg, this is in a charity shop. Do you want it for your birthday? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Iron Man on Blu-ray, the first one. I want this on DVD, but I want all the Marvel um, Universe films on Blu-ray, so I just need to get Incredible Hulk now. Um, this is the two-disc one. Um, yeah, Iron Man. Awesome film. Love Iron Man. Terrific. Um, you know, started it all. To think, oh, if, if someone had told me the year when this came out, they would open up all these doors for like the Avengers and Thor and Guardians of the Galaxy, I would have, I would have just been like, fuck off. Um, yeah, this has a really good documentary in it as well that I've watched on the DVD, seven part making of, which is really interesting. Um, they did a similar one in Iron Man 2, but unfortunately not on the third one. Uh, yeah, Iron Man, awesome film. And then finally, uh, this one just came out yesterday, Thor The Dark World, which I picked up on day release, which I don't usually do, I'm a bit of a cheapskate, and I like wait for it to go under a tenner, but I just really wanted to see this again, I really liked it, and I was just like, I kind of went into town just looking for it, and I was like, oh, I hope I can, I want to I buy it, but I don't want to pay like 16 quid. And I walked into Sainsbury's, there it was for 12 99 bang, picked it up, I go back into Sainsbury's today. They didn't have any Blu-rays, just DVDs. So I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, yeah, I watched it again pretty much as soon as I got it. Still really loads of fun. Um, you know, all this, I, it's cool that it's in London as well, in the UK, and all the um, kind of bit more gritty than the first one, and, you know, the ending, I guess, will lead into Thor 3, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, Cat Dennings is really funny in it. The kind of film in general is really funny. And uh, Chris O'Dowd from the IT crowd is, makes a little appearance, and he's he's always good. Um, and this one also features a new Marvel one-shot, of course, All Hail the King, featuring Trevor from Iron Man 3, which is awesome. Um, and it features a special guest appearance from another Iron Man character, which I won't say. I won't spoil it for those who didn't pick it up yet. Yeah, Thor, not like me to do, go day of release, but I just saw it in Sainsbury's for twelve ninety nine, and I could not resist. I was like, oh, I've got to have that. I've got to have it. I've got to have it. I've got to have it. Give it to me! Thor The Dark World. Loved it. Looking forward to Thor 3 and 
obviously Captain America Winter Soldier is coming out in about months over here and it looks so good I can't wait for that it looks so good and then Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers 2 and all the Netflix series so it's a good time to be a Marvel fan uh, yeah that's my update um, got to investigate Total Recall there see if I can get that sucker open okay yeah okay so I couldn't get that thing out of Total Recall I had to go back into town and ask them to remove it annoying but it's open now I'm gonna go watch that movie. For this, it better be at least halfway decent for that trouble I've gone through for it now. Alright, okay, bye. Subscribe, motherfuckers. Yeah, bitches.